let's look at how the three disciplines of Six Sigma interact with one another. When you've got an existing process, you want to lead with the lean tools. And so step one, as it were, employ the lean tools. And this will remove the waste from the process. And once you've removed the waste from the process, that will expose the variation. So you'll go to the second set of tools, which is the variation reduction tools. And then if the process doesn't perform to uh, expectations, then you would go to the third set of tools, which is DMADV or DFSS tools. In other words, you can redesign the process. So when you've got an existing process, start with your lean tools, then go to the variation reduction tools, and then finally, if need be, go to the DMADV or design for Six Sigma tools. When you've got a, a design or a redesign, or uh, you're designing a new process, then obviously you want to start with the DMADV or the DFSS tools. And then over time, variation will be introduced, and you can employ those tools, and then finally, the lean tools as well. So when you've got an existing process, start with lean, then go to the variation tools, and then finally, if need be, go to the uh, DFSS tools. When you have a new process, start with the uh, DMADV tools, and then go to the variation tools and the lean tools. And that's, so that's how the three circles, or the three disciplines of Six Sigma, interact with one another. And I hope you enjoyed the video.